one of the things that we talk about that keeps the black community behind are these out of wedlock births. Why are they so high? Why are black people uh, contributing to all of these unattended children that grow up without a father? Who's to blame? Why does this happen? And there are two groups that take the blame. The fathers, who are said to be weak because they are not there. Then the moms are blamed for getting pregnant by a no good guy and wanting to love a child that you can't take care of, being selfish and wanting to get on welfare or getting on the system or putting a child in a bad situation because you want to have a kid that you can't take care of. But there's another group of people who don't get the blame that should get it, in my opinion. And who is that? Well, the mothers of the single mothers. And see, here's some dark secrets that we got to talk about because we don't talk about why young women end up dealing with other guys, okay? Now, let me just start off with this. If you are a black man and you live with your mom, the relationship can be rocky especially if you look like your dad and your mom don't like your dad. But typically the relationship between mother and son is a strong one. It is one that has mutual love. Almost kind of scary, but that's what it's like. It's like a surrogate husband wife relationship without sex in some cases. Okay. That's how it, that's how, that's how strong it can get. Uh, sons love their mothers, mothers love their sons. And sons hold their mothers in very, in very good high esteem. But this dynamic is a lot different for mothers and their daughters. Now, mothers and their daughters do love each other in the black community. But there is one thing that exists between moms and daughters that don't exist between single moms and sons, and that is this whole idea of competition. You see, young black mothers, when they have daughters, let's say if the mom is 19 and the daughter is now 16 or 17, both people are still relatively young and might like the same things and, in fact, can be even in the same generation. But they're the same person sometimes. They are not getting along. And we know that moms and daughters in the black community always butt heads. And there becomes a lack of respect from one another. I know I'm telling the truth here. You see, that's what happens. And then um, the daughter is a better looking version a lot of times than the mom. Gets more attention sometimes than the mom from guys possibly from even her own boyfriend or her husband and that creates another dynamic in this relationship because mama and daughter can't get along and there's no man there to calm the animosity the emotions are just running high and running high as the daughter wants to get more autonomy and mama wants her to get out and this puts the daughter in a very unbearable situation, especially when mama wants to live her life now. She wants to have the dude spending the night and doesn't want the daughter over there walking around the house half naked and all of this. And this is what happens when the daughter knows that she's not wanted anymore in the house. So then what happens? She becomes very, very, very vulnerable. Life hitting bottomless pits. Even, even, even if she's had her own place and have to move back in or she's living there. And see, this is when no good Dusty Daryl can get a fine chick. Especially if he got his own place or even if he got his own room. 
Because, see, now that daughter just needs to get out that damn house. Anything to get away from mom. Arguing, fighting, can't get along. And then she ends up with the dude. Now, he don't know no better. He's not in a position to take care of no family or give her any love or give her any care long term. Because that the young girl has been mentally, uh, she's mentally messed up, mentally abused, mentally disturbed. And she's just looking for somebody to go to just be over there with. Now, unfortunately, what happens is because she's staying out with her boyfriend all times of the night and for days at a time. And you always know that mom and daughter don't have a good relationship with her when daughters are staying out all night. Especially if you first meet a chick. And she just spend the night with you back in the day. Your mom ain't really tripping. You keep staying out with strange guys all night and guys don't know, you're going to end up having sex with them. And then you start to depend on this guy emotionally for your issues that you can't deal with at home. He becomes your keepsake. Little does she know that this Negro also has his own problems. And then very soon or shortly thereafter, she ends up pregnant. Now, to get away from mom, she gets pregnant, have a, you know, thinking about having this baby with this guy who she thinks loves her, is going to be there for her. And she's making a mistake. So she goes and has this baby. The guy might stick around for a year or two. Until that breaks off. And she has this baby now because finally she has something that she can love. Because she felt like her mama don't love her. Then she had a baby. And then her and mama get back together. And now she's a 40-year-old grandmother and a 20-year-old mom. And when the baby turns 20, the grandma will be a great grandma at like 58 because the recycle happens all over again. What am I really getting at here, guys? I'm getting at the fact that what creates single moms in the black community also, black moms and daughters can't get along, man. That's something that we don't talk about a whole lot. Minister Jeff talked about this, but I know this. Moms and daughters don't get along in the black community. They pretend to get along. They'll get on WhatsApp. Don't you talk about my mama? And, 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 and you know, uh, but they don't, man. Mamas are glad that their daughters are gone. Okay? They don't want them living with them. The only way they can deal with each other for the lot, a lot of times is that both of them are in different homes. And that's just the truth of the things, okay? Let a, let a lady fall off right now and have to move back with her mom. She will not want it. She would do anything to not move back home with her mother. Which goes to show you how important fathers are, okay? Because, see, the father-daughter dynamic is much different than the mother-daughter dynamic. Why? There's no competition. And this is why girls, when they have dads, they crazy about their daddy. Want to get the hell away from their mama. So who's going to address this? Who's going to admit to this? Hmm? A lot of times, mother-daughter relationships are so bad, you basically push these young girls into the heart, into the arms of no good Negroes. All you, most dudes, uh, if you really being honest, if you know a, a girl, a lady, no matter how she is, live with her mama, you know for a fact if you're talking to her, you're going to end up getting them draws. You ain't got no choice. Because she's going to be so pissed off by staying there, she's going to be wanting to come over. Can I stay tonight? Can I move in? I can't stay there. Anywhere to get away from her. And if you get her away from the mama, then you already know what's going down. That's how she ended up pregnant. But anyways, guys, I do appreciate you for watching the video. Let me know what you think. 
What the hell? Damn, flies. So, like the video, subscribe, hit the bell. And as you know, the buffoonery makes the, uh, remains the all-time high. I'm out.